What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another fabulous video on the teachings of how to set this new MACD grid bot that we have over here in our Discord that I'm letting all the members of the Discord use for free. And people, let me tell you something. It is rocking it. It just made another bind before the end of the video. I hope that I'll be able to share my screen and show y'all some of what's going on over there on my MetaTrader. But right now we've got G here who's ready to put the moving average bot, right? Yes, sir. On a chart. And then he's going to get the settings for that and get ready to turn it on. And he'll be running three, four, five. He'll be running six charts then. So, what we're going to do first is pick which currency pair we want to use. Let's use the AUD. Uh, well, let's use the Euro USD because that seems to be pretty active. Let's open up a new chart with the Euro. All right. And drag that over there. All right. And turn it off. inputs all right the numbers i have for the euro on the moving average is on the five minute chart and it's going to be 69 and 50. that's my numbers we'll run a test and just, wait 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 we got to fix your lot size to a 0 0.02 and your what this is going to mean now, the lot size multiplier is you've got a 0 0.02 lot size. So when the bot opens, the first order is going to open it with 0 0.02. The lot okay. multiplier tells the next grid what it needs to buy at. And the way you figure it out is 0 0.02, which is your lot size, times the multiplier, which is 1.2, and the second order is going to have a 0 0.024 lot size. So it'll buy the initial lot size, which is 0 0.02. The second one will be 0 0.02 because it rounds it up or down. It goes to two. And then it's 0 0.024 times 1.2, the third order is going to be 0 0.03. So it's going to scale it up for you. The first okay. order is going to be 0 0.02. The second order is going to be 0 0.02. And the third order is going to be 0 0.03. Now you could change that to where they're all the same. 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. You just change your multiplier to one and it won't add anything to the lot sizes okay got it all right stop losses at ten thousand. that's what i use because we do a strategy called play to the drawdown and we don't want to get stopped out we only want 50 pip uh 50 points profit which is five pips that's perfect now you've got an account that pays commission you don't have a spread account so the max spread doesn't really count for you okay. except, except for when it goes crazy and into the hundreds like they did last week whenever they have a big dump or somebody's doing a big buy, the spreads will go astronomical. This stops the bot from buying anything over 25 spread. Got it. Total entries, including the initial, I've got it set for three for me, if you have such a small balance, then what I would suggest is you only do two. It'll take the initial buy, and then it'll take the second buy, and that'll be it until the play closes itself out. Okay. All right. The third, the next thing is grid distance and points. It's 100 points. That means it's going to when the moving averages cross, it's going to take the initial position. And if it's wrong and the bot moves into drawdown, 100 points, it buys again. All right? And All if, right. It, 
if it continues to go against you another hundred points, it'll buy. Oh no, you got you're setting oh. yours for two, so that'll be good. If it falls a hundred points, it's gonna buy again for you, and then you wait to play out when it comes back up. Got it. All right. MA type is gonna be simple, always simple. Okay. Closing price. That means at the close of the candle, when it's when the chart scoots over to start the next candle is when the bot reads to see if it has the right moving averages for the crossover. And if it does, it buys. Got it. So it applies to the close of the price. That's why I watch my candlestick timer very closely. I know when the next uh, candle is going to be formed, and I know when the bot will be looking for the next set of trades. And then the other two are very simple. The fast uh, moving average and the slow moving average. It's that simple. Now, none of these are going to change anymore except the last two. We only have to test for the last two settings, which is the fast MA period and the slow MA period. The fast, is, the fast is looking back 69 candles and the slow is, is moving back, looking back 50 candles and it sets the price or the line where the price averaged between them. Got it. All right. So now just hit OK. Now, right click real quick. I want to get this straight. Properties. This won't take but a second. Right. Colors. Let me move this over to We got to make our candles the right colors. Bar up. Line bar down red. You got it. You know, like me now, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> bar down okay. is red. Okay, got it. All right. Click OK. Oh, right click again. One thing you can do for all your other ones is go to show up top. Mm -hmm. Show tick volume. Turn that off. You don't need that shit. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's just something on the screen. That's um picking up space. Yeah. Just click OK. Now, right click, templates, save template. My MA grid bot. And click OK. So now whenever you want to put it on another chart, all you got to do is use the template. Got it. Now let's go up to the strategy tester. and Let me give you the numbers that you have to put. Oh, Lord, we don't got two more buys in. When it comes to the strategy tester, I got to go to mine so I can see what they are. Yeah, I got it. All right. Next thing you hear is going to be the money machine, the cash register. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. Complete optimization. My MACD grid bot. Open that up. And let's see if we got the version 10 in there. Yeah. Version 10. V10. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's the we're in the moving average. Version 3. 3, yeah. Version 3. Okay. And we're testing. But you we're, we're, just set, we're just setting the numbers. All right. Everything stays the same, just like any other test that we do. All right, we just come to this page to put the symbol in the time frame in. Now go to inputs. Wait, not yet. You can't hit it yet. <laughs> All right. All right, we got to check the two at the bottom in the check boxes. Okay. And now in start where it says 12. Mm -hmm. 
not there, the next column. Start right there. Mm-hmm. It's 45, and the one under it's 45. And one and one is three and three. And under 200. And that's all you need. So the last one is 200? What's the, mm-hmm. the 260? 200, 200, 200. Got it. Now it's just like whenever you're doing any other bot. Go to overview. Complete optimization. We check our symbol and we check our time frame. Everything is set where it, oh. Go back to inputs. Let me check something else. Yes, lot size needs to be 0 0.02. Multiplier needs to be one. Uh, three needs to be two till we get your balance up some. Right. Now we're all set. Now go to overview. Complete optimization. We see that the, we don't need to change the symbol or the time frame, and you just hit start, and it's as simple as that. Now, now that we put in the hard work, <laughs> and you know the routine, it's going to give you, ooh, that's fast. Wow, that's fast. You know how long it takes me to do this test? What, about a minute or two? Or? Oh, shoot, we're talking hours. Hour and a half. Yours is scooting by so fast, it's crazy. All right, optimization results. And we'll see what some of them are. And so far, we don't like the results. Yeah, I see that 25% uh, yeah. drawdown. That's a killer. Yeah. Uh, and, and a monkey will fly out of my butt <laughs> if I take a 25% drawdown. It looks pretty if you go ahead on and say, okay, and look at the back test. But uh, when that drawdown hit, it'll make you change your mind real fast. Yes. When you see now, that uh, amount. I'm going to tell you something that I've discovered now that I'm using these grid bots. Mm -hmm. Is if I stay with the low percent drawdowns, like one, one and a half, two, my grids will never get triggered. Hmm because it doesn't fall down that far. So okay. now I have to start looking for a sweet spot between three and 7% where I can be pretty sure that the grid will get activated at a 1%. I'm finding that your grids is the box too accurate and okay. it goes up and takes profit too fast. Now, if I take a, a higher drawdown, like three to seven, and that's where I'm at right now, that could still change. But three to seven gives me enough to where my grids kick in. Mm -hmm. 